This is Kim Ironman from Ego Beneficial. I recently spoke with Carol Gracie, naturalist and author of Spring Wildflowers of the Northeast, and she shared some tips on our native Jack in the Pulpit. So, Carol, what do we have here? Uh, this is a whole little patch of Jack in the Pulpit, which probably developed from one big one that was here. I think it disappeared a year or so ago. Maybe that's it back there. But it dropped its fruit, its big infloret or infructescence of red fruits mm -hmm. in that spot. And I just let them stay there. And many of those seeds developed into new plants. Mm -hmm. These aren't old enough yet to have flowers, but the one we were just looking at has a, an inflorescence. It's a group of flowers that is where the plant got the name Jack in the Pulpit mm -hmm. because you have Jack inside his overhanging pulpit. Mm -hmm. And I was peeking inside of there because I, I knew it was going to be a female. It was a big, hardy plant. Mm -hmm. It had two big leaves. And it um, takes a lot of energy, as we know, to be female mm -hmm. and produce those fruits and seeds. So almost always, if you've got a big, healthy plant with two leaves, it's going to be a female jack in the pulpit. Okay. Or as some people like to say, a jill in the pulpit. Very good. So I peeked inside, and down at the base, where the flowering part is, there were ovaries. Mm -hmm. Jack in the pulpit is one of those plants they call dioecious plants, where either the plant is male mm -hmm. or female. One flower, one plant has male flowers, one plant has female flowers. And if you want fruit, you've got to have both. If you want fruit, you need both, because you need a pollinator to move from a male flower with pollen on it to the female flower. And in this case, it's a fungus gnat that does that. Tiny, tiny little fly-like things, things that people might call noceums. Mm -hmm. They're attracted in there, they say, by a fungal aroma, which I haven't been able to detect. And if it's a male inflorescence, they're very disturbed that it's not a fungus. They can't lay their eggs in there, so they try to get out. They can't fly straight up, and they can't crawl up because the inside is slippery. So they get stuck down there, they bumble around, meanwhile getting dusted with pollen from the open stamens. And then finally they see a little opening down at the base of that pulpit type structure, and they crawl out there. But not being too bright as a little fungus gnat. <laughs> They're not they that smart, are they? <laughs> they may do it again. And this time it may be a female plant. So they go in, they get the pollen dusted on the stigmas of those big green ovaries, and that's what forms the fruit. So, Carol, this is uh, Jack in the Pulpit, and it looks different from a trillium you've just noted. So tell us how you can tell the difference. Well, a lot of people wonder when it's not in flower whether it's a Jack in the Pulpit or a trillium. And there are a couple of easy ways to tell. One is just the overall arrangement of the leaves, leaf, leaflets, I'm sorry, which... Um, in Jack in the Pulpit, usually point, I'll have to turn this around, to 9 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and 3 o'clock. Whereas in Trillium, which we could take a look at later, you will find that the leaves are more evenly spaced around the clock face, if you will, so that it's 12 o'clock, 4 o'clock, and 8 o'clock. But there's another difference as well. It's a little difficult, I think, to see here, but at the, the very margin of this Jack in the Pulpit leaflet, there's a vein that goes around the entire perimeter of the leaflet. This is one leaf with three leaflets. And around the edge of the Jack in the Pulpit leaf leaflet, there's a vein, which may be easier to see on the underside, that runs just parallel to the margin of the leaf. And if you look at a trillium leaf, you will not see that. So although they look very much the same in having the three leaflets, they have noticeable differences if you look closely. Sometimes when it's very young, people even mistake it for poison ivy. Mm. And that's Thank one you. thing I have in my book is pictures of all three so that people can tell the difference. Here's a trillium for a comparison with the Jack in the Pulpit leaves. So if we didn't have the flower here, it would look very much the same. But if you look carefully, you'll see that rather than these leaflets being out sort of at 180 degrees from each other, they are angled more downward so that it's um, 12, 4, and 8. And if you look even closer, 
and look at the veination, you're not going to see that one vein that runs all the way along the margin of the leaf. So that's an easy way to tell even when they don't have their flowers. These are, are white trillium, but they've aged and they, they become pink and actually still pretty when they age. This is Kim Ironman from Eco Beneficial. Thanks for watching. For more useful tips, please visit www.ecobeneficial.com.